The last week of spring practice is underway in Charlottesville. Two workouts remain, including the final one that's open to the public at Scott Stadium on Saturday. Head coach Bronco Mendenhall took time out of his busy schedule to catch up with VirginiaSports.com's Jeff White to discuss the squad's progress to date. You came here with ambitious goals. Have the four months been as productive as you hoped they'd be? Yeah, I, I've had an amazing four months. I have loved uh, the relationships with, the, with uh, our players. I've been re-energized by a new challenge, a new opportunity, and, and the growth that I've seen. And I see nothing but great opportunities going ahead. The who's rising phrase, hashtag, whatever you want to call it, was introduced around National Signing Day. It's really caught on. Who deserves credit for coming up with that? Man, I think that's probably Vix Otto. He's a graduate assistant coach. Uh, we love to celebrate signing day. It just kind of uh, emerged out of all the fun we were having, and we like it uh, because it's present tense, and it's also uh, directional, meaning rising, not risen, and that's, uh, I think, a movement rather than an event. Spring ball started last month for your team. You've completed 12 of the 15 practices, I believe, that college teams are allowed. What are your thoughts on the progress of the team so far? A lot of progress in terms of uh, accountability, a lot of progress in terms of the work capacity and the culture, and a lot of progress in terms of conditioning and work ethic. And eventually execution will catch up, and eventually really good football looks like will catch up. But it's sequential, and I'm really comfortable with the work we've, we've gotten done. But our intent is to, to use every bit of every minute of the next three days before spring practice ends to, to get as much work in as we can. Our intent was not the volume of calls, but really to build the culture and then expose our team to enough of the concepts that uh, are core elements of our, our program to branch off of, uh, certainly not looking to accomplish everything. And, and with that, that'll be plenty in terms of a foundation uh, to carry through the summertime before uh, we report back in August. The fifth week of spring ball began April 19th as the team worked through a taxing practice in the muggy heat of a Charlottesville morning. There was no mistaking the team unity and singular focus as practice 13 unfolded. Continue it right now, let's go. I need you to fight. I want you to fight. What up, boys? It's all about the attitude, fellas. All about the attitude. We're going to get better right there. Go, go, go. Good. I want this. We need this. It's dog days out here. The first thing he told us was basically train, train, train. The guys like you, like, yeah, train. Like, we've done winter conditioning. We feel like, you know, we've done that. We've been here. We know what winter conditioning is going to be like. It was a lot harder than a lot of guys expected. Uh, the tempo runs definitely pushed us. Practice is a whole nother beast. Practice is 10 times harder than that. So definitely, he's doing a good job changing the culture and just getting us to train, getting us to work. And uh, total effort, you definitely got to develop it on the field to play for him. But we still need to change our mindset that when we go on the field, we're invincible. We do so many repetitions in practice that it really helps you. As we get more physically in shape, we'll get more guys to the ball, we'll make more plays. It'll happen. But uh, as far as learning the defense, they've done a great job taking it from basics to, you know, in the classroom to on the field. And I feel like we've been doing a good job with that. 3 4 puts a lot more on the D line. They got to play two gaps more, which is a little bit harder. Last year, we were more just play one gap. But football, football, we've done a good job with that, I think. Well, as a whole, I just feel like all the coaches just do a good job of getting guys in the right position. Of course, learning a new offense is not easy, but for me, it wasn't as hard to just operate to your scrims and just putting me in the right place to make plays. So like all spring, I've just been making plays and I've just been having a good time, just having fun and learning the offense at the same time. Just not the skill guys that had to earn their way. It was the offense alignment and that fast tempo, you know, of course it's going always, you're going to get tired. But then the wheel development and all that stuff like that helps us really keep it going though. Make it easy on the running back. So when we make plays, it made the offensive line look good as well. Learning a new offense, it puts them in great spots also. The squad maintains perspective on how far they've come in just over four months, measuring physical gains in the grasp of new schemes on the practice fields. They must now maintain that momentum through the final practices, summer workouts, and fall camp. Doing hard things together, that's, that's kind of like a pillar of this team and getting better, creating better habits. So Coach Winter will do a great job with that with us. The players, guys like myself and Smoke, will keep it going in the summer and then hopefully carry that momentum in the fall camp and then the season. We're not done yet. It's definitely a big difference from the team this year. You know, you're going to see a lot of 
fast pace, a lot of guys trying hard, but we definitely not done yet. Great job taking care of your bodies in the next 48 hours. Lots of fluids. Get off your feet. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Who's on three? One, two, three. Who's?